guys, it's Celine here and today I am back in another video in which I'm presenting to you my personal study tips and methods, tricks in general that I have used when it comes to studying and organization for whether it be for a homework, a quiz, a test, a class in general. These are my methods and approaches that I have used um, when preparing for them. So let's just get into it. Also, just some background information about me. I am in 11th grade of high school, which is my junior year in America. So. If some of you guys have been asking me or like probably are thinking to yourself like is it really like as bad as people say it is like will I really be crying myself to sleep because of the work I have? Uh, I really don't want to lie here but it does it does suck for the majority of it. Um, no matter what time I really start my homework or studying like say I start at 4 like when I get home from school around uh, I probably won't be done till like 10 at least. The earliest I've gotten my homework done and all my studying done was 9.45 and that's a big say because the other night I was up until 12.45 writing down um, whatever homework that I was doing. So it is pretty bad and the workload is very, very heavy, especially for the classes that I'm taking. So also some of you guys have been asking me like, what classes are you taking? Like, um, is it really like challenging? Like, what's your curriculum like? Um, so I guess I'll just tell you like, a little bit about my schedule so that way you know like what I've been using my methods like for like what classes specifically. So uh, I'm taking two AP classes and by the way, a couple of you guys have been commenting um, on my school supplies video like what is an AP class because some of you guys are not from America which is totally understandable so an AP class is an advanced placement course in which it is a college classroom except in high school basically so there's no professor or anything like that but the teacher teaches at a college paced college level class so I'm taking AP US history um, which obviously is a social studies class and AP Language and Composition, which is an English class, um, despite the name language, which you would think probably like a different foreign language, but nope, it's English. So that's the class I'm taking. I'm taking Physics, um, Pre-Calculus, as well as French Honors. So that's pretty much like the majority, like the main subjects I would say that I'm taking. So if that helps you at all, yeah. So also if you're still like, confused about the AP thing, think of like an Honors class. So there's Regular, then there's Honors, and then AP and honors come neck and neck. I'd say AP is a little bit harder than honors just because it is a college class. So, and everyone that takes an AP class takes an AP exam in early May in which like every single person gets the same exam. So it's think of it like as a standardized test except nationwide. So that's a whole little summary about it because I know some of you guys were confused on that. So hopefully that helped clarify it. Okay, now onto the actual studying part now that I got that out of the way. Um, I'm a very visual person, just so you know, uh, when it comes to studying especially. So flashcards are a big, big, big must for me when it comes to memorizing something. Or really, it's not just memorizing, but really understanding what a term means. Like for AP language, we're doing rhetorical terms in which you can't really memorize a definition because you have to see it and like understand it and recognize it when it's used in a sentence. So like there's like a term like ad hominem. Like you have to know, you have to be able to recognize it in a sentence. You can't say like the definition of it because there's no like true definition like they'll never ask you what is an ad hominem they'll say what is an example of this and pr um, like show me a sentence so uh, flashcards for me they're really helpful to like help understand a material better and also speaking of like writing utensils I guess and like crutches like that uh, colorful pens for me are a huge huge must you probably will not find a single black or blue pen like an actual ballpoint pen in my bag not because I hate them well I guess I kind of do but I love color it I'm again since I'm a very visual person I tend to remember things when they're very bright and colorful and attractive to my eyes like I'll bring out my pencil bag like while I'm here so this is my pencil bag it's a monogram Celine on it my friend Eve gave it to me for my birthday so in here, all of these are color. Like, do you see these? Like, not a single one of these are black except for the Sharpie marker, which obviously is a dark color. So, like, these are all, these are all right in color. Like, this purple here, it comes out, like, as this purple is shown. So, other than that, in the pencil, which I use for math and pre-calculus for the majority of the time, all of my notes are in color. Like, I'm not kidding when I say all of them are in color because... Uh, I think I think of it as this way. When I'm taking a quiz where it's not open notebook, which usually my um, uh, history class is not open notebook, so you have to really remember what you read about last night and what you really studied. So what I do is when I write something down neatly and pretty, like not pretty, but like really neat, and I take my time to write down a certain like definition of something, I remember it better because think about it. If you write something really messily and you just like scribble it down just to get it on paper just so you have it, I guess, it, you're really not going to remember it as like as like 
well as you would if you were to write it down slowly, take your time on it, and then reflect on how well you've written that one word or letter. You know what I'm talking about? Like how some letters turn out better than others. Anyway, that's just my take on it. I personally find myself doing better when I use color and actually paying more attention to what I write. So that's a big thing. Try to be, when you sit down to do your homework or studying in general, I think it's really important to make sure that you're focused and you're actively reading because if you're just passively reading and you're just taking notes like you're thinking about what you're going to eat for dinner or what your friend said later that day or earlier that day whatever it may be if you're actually actively like paying attention which I know is hard to do and it's easier said than done uh, you probably will do better because you will remember what you read and yeah so that's that's personally my method. I don't know about you, but that's what helps me. While we're talking about um, passages and stuff, writing down notes as you read, that's a big, big help for me, especially not only because um, I'm writing something down and I have something to look back at when I'm looking at the questions, like say on a quiz, um, when I write something down, I tend to remember it because uh, it is said that your muscles have memory. My sixth grade teacher once told me that if you try to remember something and you do like hand movements and gestures as you do it, your muscles have like some kind of memory. So also like that's something that I do when I try to remember like a certain word. Also another tip, uh, I know this is really hard and again easier said than done. But putting your phone away from you when you study and do your homework, honestly, like, I have to really stick to that rule myself. I constantly am checking things like social media, like Twitter and Instagram always, so uh, I really, like, I have to stop doing that. I, sometimes if I really, like, I find myself checking it, like, every minute or every few minutes, I just comes to a point where I, I chuck my phone on my bed and I just, like, I'm, like, I'm done. Like, I'm not going to get up. I'm going to stick to my homework. So if you kind of put your phone away and all other things that could potentially distract you from doing your work, that usually helps you. It doesn't matter whether you're taking a regular or an honors class, an AP class, whatever it may be. Hopefully this video helped you in general because these are pretty general ideas and things that I've used for basically all my classes besides gym because no one studies for gym. Gym is gym, is gym okay? <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Comment down below any video suggestions you may have and also, I've never said this in a video, but I made a new vlog channel. So actually my first ever vlog channel called Simply Celine. So I'll have it linked down below, so make sure to check the description box for that. And anyways, again, comment on any video you guys have for me to do because again, all my videos are for simply you guys. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!